Buona Domenica, and welcome back to Brooklyn Cooking. That's good Sunday for everyone else. Today we're doing homemade manicotti. We're not doing it with, with pasta shells, we're doing it with crepes. So I got my French apron on that we were in Paris and learned how to make, when well, we learned how to make crepes, we, made, we had crepes, and crepes are like the hot dog uh, vendor in, in Brooklyn or in New York. Anyway, the basic recipe is six eggs, one and a half cups water, one and a half cups flour. And you just mix them together and then you let it rest for about a half an hour. I already have six eggs in here. Like I say, the basic recipe is six eggs, but I have a lot to give away today. So I'm going with eight eggs, which is a third more. So instead of one and a half cups of water, I'm using two cups of water. So very easy. You mix the water in, make sure the water is cold, and you whisk. Want it to be fairly smooth. While I'm whisking this, check to see if you're subscribed. And if you're not, hit the subscribe button if you like to. It's a little different than a, than a dessert crepe. Uh, dessert crepe would have milk, and it's a little different procedure putting together. And then we're going to slowly whisk in the flour. So you want to you wanna sift it so you don't get any lumps, a little at a time. This time we hold on, so... When you do this, make sure you make a mess like me. If, if not, try to be a little neater. So at the end, this is very easy. We want like a thin pancake consistency. We do it a little at a time so we're not getting lumps. And at the end, if it's too thick, you'll add a little more water. If it's too thin, you'll add a little more flour. Not rocket science. Everything's in there. Everything's in there. We're whisked up pretty smooth. It's a very, it's a pretty thin batter, and you'll just want to put a little pinch of salt in there. Bring out a little flavor. I just want to show the consistency. It's pretty thin, and we'll cover it with plastic wrap and put it in the fridge for about a half an hour. Okay, while the crepe batter is in the fridge, we'll get the filling going. We, I have here two pounds of regatta. The basic recipe is about two pounds of regatta maybe a, a cup of mozzarella and two ounces of Parmesan cheese. But I'm making a lot, so I'm going to add the whole three pounds. Right, to that, we're going to add, I don't know, to me, eggs are optional. A lot of times I do it without eggs. I might firm it up a little bit. But for this much, I, I usually add an egg, if any. You can... You'll see some recipes, they have eggs, they don't have eggs. And this is just three cheeses. So you have a little more of one, a little more, a little less of the other. About, a, I added a pound of mozzarella. You know, it would be less for two pounds, obviously. Maybe 10 ounces a cup. And we'll add all the Parmesan cheese. This is about three ounces. For two pounds, it would be two ounces. You had a good mix. You really don't need much salt if any, because the cheese has a lot of salt. So you always have to add a little parsley. For me, it's a violation without parsley. When you're done, you can see there's green specks. If you need more, you put more. Probably a little black pepper. And then I think nutmeg is a nice little addition to this. Just grate some right over there. Don't use pre-ground nutmeg. If you're gonna add nutmeg, get a real nutmeg and grate it on yourself. That's about it. We don't want to overpower it. And then we'll just mix it up. We need a little time now to wait for the crepe batter. It's not a half hour yet. That's how quick this went. So we'll throw this in the fridge a little bit to stay cold and safe. And we'll be back when the crepe batter is ready. I know everybody is not going to make crepes, and I don't want that to be a deterrent for not making this. So if you don't want to do your own crepes, buy yourself a box of monocotti shells. You boil them according to the box directions, and you let them cool, and you stuff them just the way we're doing it. The third option is to make pasta sheets. If you look at my ravioli video, you can see you know how to roll out a pasta, but that's, that's the, the most work out of all three. So... Either go with the crepes or go with the pre-made shells. 
All right, this is a crepe pan because I'm a nut. When we came back from Paris, I had to buy one. Uh, you don't need this. You can use a regular nonstick pan, and we'll show you that later. Uh, and we're going to get going. I got about a third of a cup here because this is a pretty big pan. Put it on one side, and then quickly... And we'll let it sit about 30 seconds or so. Okay, then you just grab your hand. You do it with your hand. You're not gonna burn yourself. You just let it down. And let it go another 15, 20 seconds. Okay, that's it. We're gonna put it out onto the pan and we'll do the next case. I'm gonna use a little less than I did the last time. have any holes that don't just take a little and fill it in try to be neater than me that's pretty easy to think of too though on to flip easy peasy okay you can stack them on top of each other they really won't stick together if you're gonna if you were gonna freeze them or store them that's a different story now we're gonna do the thing that I'm terrible at this one, we got, we got this little fruity thing that came with it. That's the way the pros do it. This time we'll go right in the middle. And we'll just... Well, this, actually, I did pretty good on that. I'm proud of myself. They say these things don't have to be perfect. You're going to roll them up and make a manicotti out of it anyway. Okay, this is just a non-stick pan. You know, any non any good non-stick pan, something that doesn't stick, uh, can be used. You don't need a fancy crepe pan. And basically the same. Go a little less batter because this, this one is nearly not as big. And actually, this that one nice and easy. The one I could have left a little more. That was cool. Now, even though this is like the fifth, it's really the first because we got a new pan. Like pancakes. First one, not that great. Even though these have eggs on it, it may look a little raw to you. It's going in the oven and it's going to cook for another 20 minutes or so, so really got nothing to worry about. And when you start seeing the outside curling up, they're about ready. The second one's a lot better. A couple more seconds, this is ready to go, and then... We have about 20 more, so we'll do the rest off camera and we'll be back to fill them up. Okay, we're ready to finish it up. Uh, now we're back to the Italian part, so I took off my uh, French apron and went back to Brooklyn cooking. And we're going to start rolling. So we take a sheet pan, depending on how many you got, we put a little thin layer of sauce on it. Then we have our crepes and we're going to fill them. Just going to take a spoon. Put it, don't put it right in the middle, put it off to the side a little bit, off to one end. Try to make it even, and then we're gonna roll it. Now we're gonna take this end and pretty much make it tight. You wanna, you wanna come up against it and then just roll it up, and that's all. We'll put the seam down, and we got one. Take the next one, take another one, They're gonna be different sizes because we use the crepe pan and we use the smaller pan. Again, get it tight, roll it over, roll it, seam side down, and that's two. Okay, you got the idea, roll them up tight, 
This will be the last one. We'll fill up the tray and we'll come back before we put them in the oven. We have a tray rolled up. We'll hit each with some sauce. This is just plain marinara sauce. You don't know how to make it. I have a marinara sauce video. Don't want to bother making it. Get a good, get a jar of good tomato sauce. Now, even though I put Parmesan in the, Parmesan in the filling, this is Romano, Locatelli Romano. You want to use more Parmesan, you want to put Locatelli Romano in, in the filling instead of Parmesan. That works too, whatever you like, but use a good cheese. Cook is no more than use good ingredients and don't screw it up. How bad could this be? Oh, we'll pop it in the oven. These crepe ones look so good, I, I can't believe I'm doing these. I never stuffed these before. It's a pain in the neck doing them. It's so much easier with the crepes and so much better. But then you go one side and do the other side and you get the idea. If you got a pastry bag, you could just do that. But it's getting in there. Seems pretty full. And we'll just put it down. Okay, look at these. If you if somebody gave you a tray of these, which one are you gonna take? These little Doofy ones are these nice big crepe ones. So we're gonna, I, I only, even though I made four of boiled four of those, um, I only made two, I got tired of doing it, and I'm just gonna eat the other one. Actually, macaroni is pretty good. I'm gonna pop these in the oven, and we're done. Okay, it's been in there about 20 minutes. We're finally ready to eat. We're going to try a little piece. We're going to cut a piece off. See if we can get it on the plate without making too much of a mess. Just came out. It's hot. Magnificent. Delicious. You have to do this. It's so easy. You want to add a little more sauce when you put it on the plate. You do that. And that's a wrap. So, Arrivederci from Brooklyn Cooking. Hit the like button if you like that. And subscribe to our station. And we'll see you next time.